Do you have a special place where you go to pray? A place to cry out to God, to seek answers in his word? Maybe it's indoors or outdoors, but it's a place where you can retreat with the Father, to find strength for an upcoming battle, or to find rest when your soul is weary. A place where you are reminded of God's faithfulness and experience his victory? It is Tuesday of Holy Week, and this leads us to Matthew chapter 24, where we find Jesus with his disciples in such a place for them, the Mount of Olives. This is a sacred place in scripture, and a place Jesus even visits three times this week before his crucifixion. It is a place Jesus goes to rest, to pray, to retreat with his friends, a place he cries out to the Father. It is here that he shares what we now call the Olivet Discourse and answers his disciples' questions about the end times. Jesus warns them not to be deceived. He tells them it's gonna get tough. There will be false teachers. There will be wars and rumors of wars. People will hate each other. Love will grow cold and the earth will groan in pain. So what are his followers to do? We are to prepare ourselves when we are to love well and we are to proclaim the good news of the kingdom to all the world. The good news of the gospel is that Jesus came. He lived a sinless life. He died for us and he rose again. He is alive. And just as Jesus ascends into heaven from the Mount of Olives, he will one day return to right every wrong. He will return with power and glory to gather the people for which he will die to redeem. In Matthew 24, Jesus tells his followers that no one knows the day or the hour but we will see him again. Our King is coming. Come, Lord Jesus, come.